Hello, my name is Swami Kromi, curator of Korean art at the Cleveland Museum of Art. Cleveland Museum of Art is one of the world-class encyclopedic museums known for its breadth and the depth of its collection. I joined the museum in 2015 as a Korean art curator. It was actually the first position ever open to Korean art specialist in the history of the museum. Uh, many of the, our Korean collections were donated by the Severance family who donated the building of the Severance Hospital in the Yonsei University. Many of the works stay in the Korean collection at the Cleveland Museum of Art. This is a Korean gallery. The independent Korean gallery was established for the first time in the history of the museum in 2013. As the curator of Korean art, I prepare the exhibition every six months. In conjunction with Golden Needle, special exhibition that happening in the textile gallery, I prepare this exhibition, the title Diversity in Korean Embroidery Arts. This exhibition uh, focusing on the gender diversity and socioeconomic diversity within the community of Korean embroiderers in late 19th and early 20th century. This case shows a group of selected Saladon pieces donated by the Severance family. Uh, this particular piece is called Kundika, Jeongbyeong in Korean, is one of the important pieces. Many other Jeongbyeong pieces have an image of um, willow tree and pan with the birds, but this particular piece has a parrot, which is extremely rare to find in a Jeongbyeong decoration. One of the important elements of this uh, statue is that the combination of Avalokiteshvara and Amitabha and Kushtegarbha cannot be found in Chinese examples, but is uniquely found in Korean examples. Another important element of this statue is that it was produced in the late Koryo and an early Joseon dynasty. The intricate detail tell us that uh, probably its patron was a ruling class and probably the early Joseon dynasty ruling class members. And that challenges our assumption that the Buddhist visual culture may have disappeared in the Joseon dynasty, but however, early Joseon dynasty and its ruling class continue to commission and they are continued to be important patron of Buddhist art.
This special exhibition, Gold Needles, presents a wide variety of embroidery arts, from small thimbles to large multi-panel folding screens. I like to celebrate artistic creativity by anonymous Korean woman artists who live in late 19th and early 20th century. Also, I like to introduce their embroidery uh, creation and uh, as a tools of empowerment to, to define who they are, also strengthen their community. This is my favorite piece in the exhibition. It is a wedding gown called Harot in Korean. One of the reasons I like about this piece, it tells a story. It is one of the oldest objects uh, that joined the Korean art collection in the Cleveland Museum of Art. Uh, at the time, the museum really wished to acquire many important Korean objects, so they sent a specialist named Lang the Warner. He got to Korea in 1916 and he acquired this piece along with other objects. Also another uh, reason I like these uh, objects is uh, that it tells the story about a human being. In contrast to many uh, beautiful embroidered patterns in this gown, and also you can see a lot of uh, repairs and patchwork. And to me, it really resonates the human life that which is not perfect or remain pristine, and also is really at the end, consists of many repairs and patchwork. I am Suame Komi, Curator of Korean Art at the Cleveland Museum of Art. Come to visit the city of Cleveland and visit the Cleveland Museum of Art.